Yeah, so I definitely think that, you know, one of the first things that is necessary is to ask yourself, you know, why is it that I want to connect with this person? And I think that a lot of people don't ask themselves that question, right? It's typically, sometimes I'll get messages from people who just say, hello, Adora, or just hi, Adora. Um, and of course, I get a lot of those messages. So I'm not going to respond to every single person saying, hi, Adora. Oh, hello. Hi, how are you? Right. It's impossible for me to do it. So it has nothing to do with arrogance or being rude or feeling like, you know what, this person is not worth my time. It's not that. But it's just like, how many hours do I have in a day? I cannot respond to everyone. So typically what I will do is I will read the messages where the person has said everything that they need to say. I'm talking about social media now, right? Is you said everything you need to say, right? And I can see very clearly what it is that your ask is. What is your request, right? The request could be, oh, I want to interview you. The request could be, oh, I just think that your work is amazing. And I just wanted to say that your work was amazing. I think that sometimes before we even are specific about our ask, it's just necessary to just be a good person. And being a good person requires you um, when you do reach out to people to just understand that the person that you're reaching out to is a human being just like you right and so the way that you interact is equally as important as whatever it is that you believe that you are bringing to the table in terms of value so even if you're trying to offer me something the way that you would approach me in real life is the same way that you need to approach me digitally right and so everything from just even being able to say you know what love your work i've interacted with your stuff showing that you have interacted with the person's work because people take their work very seriously i mean people are pouring out hours of their lives into the materials that they put out yeah. right to simply not acknowledge it when you're trying to connect with someone is just rude i just think it's rude you know if i wanted to connect with someone i would usually make sure that i have consumed their material right so i'm like okay you know what if they have a podcast i've listened if they have a book i've read if they have whatever it is i will even if i have to purchase it i will purchase it just so that i understand who it is that i'm speaking with right so at the point where i start the interaction and conversation i'm basically starting at a point where i know something about you so i'm leading up i'm starting off with a conversation that i would have in real life anyway where it's like oh you know you said this in your book and I thought it was really amazing. Well done for writing that book, by the way, you know, there's just something human about it. Yeah. We're not robots. Yeah. People sometimes assume that the people that they're trying to network up to are robots. Yeah. And so there's just like some, you know, if I just do, they're just supposed to respond. No, it doesn't work that way. The same way you would court a woman mm -hmm. <laughs> as a guy, you know what I mean? It's the same, or as a... Yeah, the same relationship you, see, yeah. do you understand same relationship you will build offline is the same way you need to approach whoever it is that you're asking to mentor you whoever it is that you're asking to do business with you know whoever it is that you're asking to just connect with approach it that way i have people who i know that i'm going to end up working with at some point in my life but because i also understand that i am not in the space where i am ready to work with those people um, what I will do is I will keep nurturing that relationship, right? And nurturing that relationship, not just by being dropping um, hearts on everything that they post, you know, but checking up on them, you know, saying hi, purchasing material that they put out, sending them a gift. If I, you know, if I see something, oh, this person is celebrating this. I'm just like, oh, okay, cool. Let me just send them something, right? It's not, you're not trying to buy the person. You're just nurturing that human interaction with that person so that at the point as well where you now say oh you know what i'm actually thinking this it's seamless right it doesn't feel like you just came from nowhere and you're just trying to take advantage of this individual right um the person knows you to some extent right because you've interacted the person remembers you you know because they are interacting with so many people on a daily basis um and so yeah i just think like we naturally, our human instincts um, are there. We just don't use it enough. We don't use it enough because we've got to a point where digital has made us feel very robotic with how we interact with people. And digital has also sort of made us disrespectful. I think very largely, especially for the young guys. You know, we've got to a point where um, social media is such a leveler in terms of, oh, I'm following you, you're following me, so we're all leveled and um, we don't respect 
that there are people who are more experienced than us, there are people who are older than us, there are people who we on a normal day will not be able to have a conversation with. Um, you know what I mean? Like you may not have that ac level of access, but because the person is just always talking and being nice um, and all of that, we sort of tend to just, you know, look at it as, oh, this person is on my level. Like, yeah, well, we're both on the same app. We're just both on the same app, you know? And I think that, um, I think that, you know, we just need to recognize that and be more respectful, um, you know, when you're trying to connect with anyone and just, you know, be understand, be open to them saying no. It's not personal. It's not always personal. It's not that they don't care about you. It's not that they don't think that your idea is going to blow. Because sometimes, you know, people tend to feel like that, like, oh, yeah, I sent a message to this person. The person replied me, hmm, when I blow, they will find <laughs> They, you know, I'll show them that, oh, they did not reply me that time. And it's not, like, those things are irrelevant in the grand scheme of things. It's not personal. They weren't trying to just brush you off. It's like, maybe they don't have the time to do this thing that you're asking them to do. You know, would you rather that people lie? And I think that maybe we've even caused that for ourselves now, because what happens typically is, like, people start to now just lie and then take you for a ride, you know, because it's like now someone you're trying to connect with to just say, Okay, no problem. Send me your number. <laughs> or, you know, and they'll never call you, you know, or they'll just say, okay, yeah, oh, you can come to my office. You go to their office and they're not available and then they just take you for a ride. But you make them take you for a ride because if they tell you the truth, you'll take offense to it. So it's better I tell you a lie and give you the run around, right? So I really believe in just um, being a good person and just knowing that if you are meant to meet and connect with someone it will align and it may not align um at the time where you want it to so it's also just giving room for the timing of things that you may not be prepared or they may not be prepared they may not be in a, at a point where they can um, solve that problem that you require or that you guys are meant to connect um, but that you know you will just continue to keep and nurture that relationship until it's time to do whatever it is you're meant to do together. Okay. <laughs> Can you recount any experience where like, somebody kind of like reached out, tried to make something with you, but mm -hmm. it was just a pull off, turn off? It was a turn off. Yeah. I get it all the time. I have to say to you, you know, I get it, I get it quite, I get it quite often um, where, you know what, let me, let me be very specific. Okay, yeah, so I'll give you a, a a real example. So I remember I was um, speaking at an event and I got off stage and, you know, a lot of people were coming to try and speak with me because that's typically what would happen when you speak somewhere. Everyone's coming and they want to talk to the speaker, right? And I was in this conversation with a particular guy that had come up to talk to me and he had walked up to me with his friend. His friend was sitting, standing right beside him. And I started to choke because I hadn't drank water while I was on stage and so yeah and I was speaking you know so I started choking in the middle of the conversation you know and this guy was just standing there and his friend quickly went to go and get me water you know because his friend was like oh my god a friend left and then got me water and brought it back right and for me it was like the end of my conversation with the guy because I was saying to myself you think I'm a robot like clearly you're close marking me and you're only thinking about me as far as what you want yeah like i'm choking right? i'm choking and you're he was still talking so it's not like he was even he paused and said oh you know what my friend is gonna go get the water no 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 he continued like, talking like, wow. you know and it put me off you know so by the at the point where i drank the water i had tuned off and cut off the conversation because i wasn't interested in anything he had to say after that because i'm just thinking to myself you you've just completely yeah. Put me in a box and you're just thinking about you you're not thinking about yeah. me as a person so yeah put up total total off <laughs> you um, know 